Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to create a specialized layout and we're going to be working with a theme that we use for realtors called Agent Press and this theme is created by Studio Press. We've customized it for this client here. And here we are on a featured property of the Agent Press theme and you can see that it has a large property image followed by a brief amount of introductory text property details which we can see is in a nice double column format and below that we have some property photos this is actually a gallery so if we click on one of the images it comes up in a light box and we also have some forward and backward buttons to allow us to browse the images in the collection and then further down below we have a property map that's centered right over our location so with that in mind we're going to create our own featured property for a new listing that we have The first thing we need to do is go into the dashboard of our website and from there we're going to click on posts and we're going to add new because featured properties start out as a blog post now to speed up the process a little bit I have actually created a document that has all the information I need on it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this featured property post a title. Next we need to first insert that large image that we saw. It was the very first thing that we saw on our example featured property. And what we need to do is we need to put our cursor at the very start here of the visual editor and then go up here to the add image icon and once we click on that these are files we haven't uploaded to our WordPress site yet so we need to go get them from our computer we're going to select files and here's the featured property image I want to use so I'm going to open that and let it upload now as with our example post this was full width all the way across the page and it also had no text around it so with that in mind we're going to make sure that it is centered on our page and also we're going to choose the large size which is 600 pixels wide and 600 pixels just happens to be the full width of our content column on this particular theme and once we have those two options selected we're going to do two things first we're going to use this item as our featured image so we're going to click on that to set it and then we are also going to insert it into the post so there we go we have our image in the post full width across the content column and centered the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our cursor into the visual editor again we're going to flip back to our document and we're going to grab our text that we've already prepared for this particular property copy that and paste it back into our visual editor scroll down a bit so we can see it here now the next thing we need to do is we need to insert the double column of property details and for that we actually have to create a heading that's going to separate this content from the rest of the content so we're going to enter this property details heading here and we're also going to highlight it and then we're going to select a formatting option we're going to select heading 2 which as you can see makes the text quite a bit larger than it would be normally if we just bolded it so once we've done that we just need to make sure that we've dropped down to the next line below property details and the way the agent press theme is built we actually have this section if we scroll down below you can see we have a two column layout where we can put in the information we have for our property details now that gives us the ability to add our listing price our address city so on and so forth and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this information that I have in my document already and start pasting it into the provided fields and we're gonna go ahead and skip to the end and there we are through the magic of video editing we've completely filled in all of the details for this property now to make these details appear in the area above in our actual content area we need to actually copy and paste this particular piece of code here which you can see that I've highlighted and this is called a short code in the area above where we have our property details we're gonna paste this code in 
and that's going to tell WordPress to take all of the information that we filled in down below and display it right here under our heading called Property Details. So once we've done that, we just need to add an image slideshow, and this is going to be the gallery that we're going to have that's going to have our lightbox view as well. So of course the first thing we need to do is create a heading. And as with our last heading, I'm going to very quickly change its formatting to a heading 2. We're going to drop down to the line just down below it. And now we're going to create our photo gallery. And to do that, we go to the add image icon that we've used before to put in our first property image. And this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to, again, select files because we don't have these on our computer. And we're going to actually hold down our control key and we're going to select multiple images. We're going to select all of the images that we have for this property. And what we do by selecting multiple images, and here we're going to start uploading them one at a time, is that we're telling WordPress that when we upload more than one image together that we want them all to appear as a slideshow. And here you can see that I've given them all titles already so that they have a nice presentation inside of the lightbox view. So we're pretty happy with this result. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save All Changes. And once we've done that, we can see a little bit further down below, we now have Gallery Settings. And these are the options that let us control how the gallery is going to work. And for our particular gallery, we want to make sure that this little radio button next to image file is checked because this setting is going to control our light box and it's going to tell visitors when they click on a thumbnail to go grab the large image file and display it in the light box. Below that we have the option to change our menu order although I happen to like the order we have above as well as set the gallery columns and I know that for this particular theme that three columns works really well so if that's not your default we're going to switch it back to three and now we need to click on the insert gallery button and that's going to insert our gallery into the visual editor and here you can see it's a kind of an anonymous blue box and what we're going to do is we're going to then skip down below that and we're going to add in our final feature for the property that we have here and that's a map so the first thing we need to do again is create our heading just as we did before this time we're creating the heading for the map and giving it the value again of heading 2. Now skipping down to the next line we need to use another feature that's built into this particular theme and it's a plugin called Map Press. So what we need to do is we need to create a map of this particular property and what I'm going to do is first click on a new map and we're going to create our map for the first time. So let's scroll down a little bit so we can see it here. So the, what we need to do is we need to add the address for our property right here into the location field of the Map Press plugin. And I've copied our address in place here. So once we have our address in the location field, we just need to click on the Add button. And that's going to add our new map to our database. And here we can see below we have a preview of that map and where it's located. And over here we have a couple of options. What we're going to do is we're going to give this a title. And this title is going to help us to remember what this map is later because we're going to save it into our database. So we also have a few options for the size of our map. And right now it's set to a default of 425 by 350. That's actually a pretty nice size. Of course, we can see it right here. And it looks like it's a pretty good size. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the Save button. And we're going to save our map. Once we hover over the title of the map, you can see we have an option to insert it into the post. So by clicking on that, it doesn't look as if anything's happened, but if we scroll up above, you can see that we have actually added, similar to what we did for the property details, this plugin has remembered where our cursor was, and it's adding for us the shortcode that's going to display the map. So once we've done those things, we've pretty much created inside of this visual editor the entire layout for our property. Here it doesn't look like much, but when we look at it on the actual page, it's going to look quite a bit nicer. Now, the last thing that we have to do before we actually publish this 
is we need to come over to the categories area in the right hand sidebar and we need to pick our trigger category that's going to help this to display on the home page. So for this particular site we've set this up so that featured properties when we select this category is going to tell this theme to display a featured property on the home page of our site. So once we're done with that let's go ahead and click on publish. And then let's go ahead and actually view our post first. So here we are on our featured property post and it starts off with our large image. Down below that our paragraph of text, property details, and then we also have our gallery that if we click on it displays our images in a light box view. And if we look further down below that we have our property map with our map pin centered right over where the property is. And as I said, if we go to the home page of our site, you can see that if I scroll down here, we have our featured property displayed on the home page. And by clicking on it, of course, it takes us back to our featured property. So just as simple as that, it seems a little complicated when you first go through it, but if you just follow the steps, it's really quite easy to add a featured property to the Agent Press theme. I hope that's helped shed a little light on how to do this. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.